A significant change in Revit 2013 is the ability to assign a view template to a view through the properties palette. If you look at the example here, this ray traced image has a nighttime view palette. And if I move if I stop the ray trace process so we can see just the view with its settings, um, if I move down through my project and I pick some other views, for example the planting planter exterior or the um, south patio view, you'll see that it's got the same template applied to it. The significance of this is that you can edit the template to adjust the settings. So in this example if I were to take that nighttime view and I was to adjust say the background image from gradient and say I'm changing this to sky and apply then without me having to do anything else if I go back to my views that I was showing you if I go to the um, view 3 that I started with you'll see that it's got the sky and if I go to the house entrance you'll see that it's got the sky any view that has that template nighttime has been updated and adjusted so for example if I went in here now and applied the option to ray trace the view I would get the interior lights and the sky that has been applied to that a particular view. I'll, I'll close that. So thinking of presentations you'll be able to globally change your settings. Uh, another huge benefit would be in something like elevations and construction documents. A view template called elevations light from left it's whatever name you want to call it and I can move through here and then all I have to do is when I when I have a a view that I want to have that same template I can go in and say well apply elevations light from left and see the change and that's going to give me a way of globally managing the drawing now if I were to go back and change the settings so if I go view templates manage uh, light from left I can also say duplicate that light from right with gradient something whatever I want to call it I can edit the settings here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, lighting sunlight from right and be careful to not try and pick anything other than the item that you selected for editing. It will be greyed out and you won't be able to change it. You have to actually pick from this side of the screen. So where I wanted to change the background and I wanted to say change it from change my, my gradient. Let's go and change that to a dark on the top. Then I can see the view here with whatever settings. So if I change from light from left to light from right with gradient, I can see the changes that I made. Now, one last point on the gradient view template is that if I go to view templates and I decide to get rid of something. So for example if I say that I'm going to pick elevations light from left and I'm going to delete them, you will get the option of saying well do you want to replace them with another view template or do you just want to remove all the views that have the template assigned to them. So if I say choose a replacement what I can do is I can pick the one that I had just created and apply that to all the views. And probably the very best thing about this is that it hasn't lost any flexibility because if I 
actually wanted not to have the template values because I want to make changes to an individual view. I can always go in here and tell it that it doesn't have a template assigned and that will let me go and change individual values. So again, just to show the a, a change would be that I could say, you know, this particular view, I want to be uh, consistent colors. I'll apply it. And I want to uh, to make that change just to that one view. So what I've got now is here I've got my templates applied but I've also been left with the option of having no view template that will let me adjust views individually to whatever setting that I want.